All right, another late one. Mm-hmm. 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 Another late one, of course. Why wouldn't I? All right, let's do this shit. Let's get the pop out going. Ba bam. Let's move you guys downstairs. Perfect. Beautiful. Let's put that top side. Let's go. Let's go. What's up, Jax? How you doing, my man? What's up, Zombie Smasher? How you guys doing today? How is everybody on this lovely day? This lovely Saturday. So we have um, a bit of a a bit of a, a new um, oh do you do that's fucking dope. Let's see, we turn up. Jeez. Beautiful. Um, so we've got... Ah, oh, fuck that shit, man. Working nights is the worst. Like, legit, that's the worst. But we've got a little bit of a, a scenario going on within the community. Um, who... I'm sure Jax remembers him. Do you remember Steve-O? Punch him, punch him in his fucking face. Fuck this guy. Fuck this guy. I don't even know who he is. Fuck him. Um, it would appear as though Perk Addicted is Steve-O. And he's like crept his way back in. Which is super weird. Like, super fucking weird thing to do. Oh no, bro. Are you seriously landing over here with me? No, he's going over there, I think. No, maybe not. What up, God of Destruction? Um, well, I guess, um, what up, J-Rock? I guess, uh, CMC, um, I guess Perka tried adding him on PSN. And, uh, or CMC was supposed to add him, and when he did, it showed up as a blocked account. And the only account that he has blocked is Stevo's, from when Stevo used to have him on PSN. So, it's, uh, super fucking bizarre. It's super weird and super creepy. The fact that he would try to come back. Um, which I noticed it was weird that Perk is always trying to say hi to Kirby all the time. Like, he's always like, hey, hey, Kirby, hey. Like, he only says hi to her and me, and that's it. So that was, that was, I always thought that was kind of bizarre. Um, and it would appear as though that might be the reason why. So, I don't know. It's, it's fucked up. Um, I don't want to, like you know, call the dude out and be like, yo, you know, cause it could not be him. It could just be some weird situation. Cause he said he only has like a couple people blocked. Um, but it would, it would explain quite a bit. So I don't know. So I don't know. I, I really wouldn't put it past him cause Steve-O did come off as a super creepy guy. So I don't know. I think next time he comes in, I'm just going to kind of just like, Maybe bring up Steve-O and, you know, talk shit about him and see if he gets Perka a little bit upset or something. And we'll see. Hey, what up, Boo? How you doing, man? Oh, I have a micro Uzi. Dope. Alright, can we get something good out of this house? I mean, the SMG... Oh, there we go. That's what we wanted. Right there. That's what we were looking for, is that M16... Now if we can just get a scope for it, we'll be in business. Alright, let's pop out of here. Oh, nothing in the garage, dude. The garage is usually so good. Let's uh bogart ourselves across the street. Somebody landed really close to me, but I don't know exactly where he went. But I know he's close. That's all I know. I'm doing good, man. I'm doing really good. Having a good day today. I went to the Lego store.
I know, man. It's been a while, dude. I've been fucking. I've been here, though, dude. I've been here. Been gaming out. Living the dream. I fucking domed him on that jump, dude. Oh, shit. Nah, I'm gonna keep the compensator because that flash hider is useless. Yeah, I fucking domed that. I heard him too that whole time. I was like, yo, I know there's somebody over here. I was like, I know for a fact somebody's here. Let's see. I really need, like, a scope, though, and more 5.5 ammo, though. Like, really badly. Uh, let's see. Some more bandages. Thank you. Do, 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 Dude, the Lego store was pretty dope. Um, they got a lot of pretty cool shit there. Um, nothing crazy. They had a really dope Millennium Falcon kit. It was like a 7,400-piece uh, kit, but it's like $800. So I was like, oh, that sucks. But it's huge. The thing is fucking huge, bro. Um, but it was, it was a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be, but it was cool. It was definitely really cool. Some pretty cool shit there. It was pretty, I, I was talking to a guy there for a little bit. He was pretty nice. Um, it was definitely dope, though. It's definitely pretty dope. Alright, man. Thanks for coming in, Boot. Have yourself a good one, dude. Um, take some more painkillers. Dude, I really need more ammo for this, for this fucking M16. Yeah, 7.6 ammo is co cool as fuck, but, like, I really need fucking... Dude, it's cold as hell out. It's, like, really fucking cold out. Oh, shit. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so he had a little bit of 5.5 for me, so that's cool. No, nah, that's a dude. I was like, man, I was like, why is it 800 bucks? I was like, for real though. I was like, 800 dollars, dude. Y'all are fucking tripping, dude. I was like, y'all are straight fucking tripping. But, it, dude, if I had 800 bucks, believe me, I would have fucking bought it. That dude didn't have shit.
Where did he just go? Dude. All right, let's see. Dude, I really. Oh, there's no one on the floor here. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Get out of here, bro. Yeah, hell yeah, bud. What's going on, dude? Alright, please have something of use, dude. For the love of God. Oh, 5.5 and an AKM. Fucking A. Oops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. I need that. I need that back. Um, okay, so we can drop off our 9 mil. Let's take that. Okay, that's it. Dope. Badass. Uh, hopefully, dude. Hopefully we hit, like, 890 tomorrow, dude. Hopefully we hit 900 tomorrow. Honestly. I <laughs> get a vape fam, fucking hashtag vape fam, bro. Hell yeah, all day, dude. I'm freezing my balls off right now. It's legit cold as fuck. All right, how long until I gotta go? Oh, is that closing in right now? Oh, it is. No, it isn't. Is it? No, I'm good. I'm cool for now. You know what though? I am gonna swap this scope to this gun. Put all my attachments on there, dude. Um, Alright, so I'm going to assume that I got people coming up this way here. Considering, I bet you there's people over there right now. I'm almost willing to bet money that there's people over there. I really want like an 8x scope though, like really fucking bad. All right, I got two motorcycles over there I can fucking grab, uh, which is dope. All right, it doesn't look like anybody came in here, so that's cool. I really got to think about getting out of here though. Like, shit's about to go down here in a minute. Um, let's grab you. Let's grab this shit. Dude, the map is huge, bro. Look. Look. That's just... That little spot is me. And you got all this fucking area to play with. It's, like, legit... I don't know. I don't want to say it's, like, as big as GTA, but, like... It's big as fuck. Like, the map is fucking huge. Like, it's probably, like, the biggest map in a game of this style in existence. Oh, there's a truck right here? Shit. Oh, I can't drive it though. It's rusted. Fuck. Son of a bitch. That would have been ill. Um, let's see. It's fucking... It, dude, it's, it's gigando, homie. It's legit. It's a, it's a gigando fucking map, man. It's a good fucking game, dude. Like, it's a lot of fucking fun, dude. It really is. I'm like, these types of games really aren't my thing. But I like how slow it is. Oh, nice. Alright, we got a boogie. Alright, so... Oh, we still got a minute.
Alright, there's fucking mad heads here. Where did he die? Let's see. Painkiller, energy drink, bandages. Put a hollow there. What do I have on there now? Flash hider? Yeah, okay. Um. Oh, he had a scar, though. Shit. as fuck. Yeah, we're, we're cracking skulls on this one, dude. The downside, though, so, so what'll happen a lot in this game is you'll do really good for a minute, and then you'll get fucking dunked on. Oh, shit. He's in the shed. I don't see any movement, dude. Oh, man. This is tricky. Where can I go? I have nowhere to go, dude. Um, fuck. Where are those shots coming from? I think he's up in that house, dude. I swear to God. Hmm. This is so... I don't... Fuck. Well, at least he died. Really? Really? Was that the guy that was behind me? Oh, this dude didn't have shit. What an asshole. He didn't have shit. Oh, man. I don't have time. I don't have time to loot this guy. Fuck. He didn't have anything anywhere else. He would have fucking shot me with it. Son of a bitch. I usually don't get this many kills per game. I really don't. Alright, dude, we gotta get to this boat, man. This gas is coming, dude. Oh, no. No good. No fucking good. Alright, so... I don't know where this game is trying to end. Over here. The best I can do for now, though, is get towards... This side. How long do you stream? I usually stream for a handful of hours, typically. Like, usually three or four. Uh, I don't know. It, the weekends, I never know. I could stream for an hour, or I could stream for fucking, you know, I could stream for, for, for 12. I don't know. It's, it's always different. Where am I getting 
shot for him right now. Are you serious? Oh, shit. Was that the guy shooting at me originally? God damn, I know he's up top, I just can't see him. There's not even like indications, it's just blood splatter. Like it doesn't it doesn't necessarily mean like oh this oh shit, I need armor bad. It doesn't necessarily mean like oh there's a guy right here. This is fucking bad news, dude. Dude's got a car. Come on, dude, get back up.
Where did he die? <laughs> uh, you can kind of shoot through walls and shit, but like, not completely. Like, you can and you can't, and I really gotta go. Ah, oh, that sucks. Dude, it's so hard to hit moving targets in this game, man. Like, for real. Oh, that's not good. Wow, really? You're gonna end here, game? Are you serious? Like, for real, this is where the game is gonna fucking end. Are you dead ass right now? So, like, I'm just gonna chill. I'm just gonna chill because these guys have to come out of this house. Whoever's in this house has to come out. Like, they have to. So if I can wing a couple of them on their way out, dude, then I'm in good shape. Do 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 do. All right, so we got one up there for sure. Motherfucker. Son of a fuck. Saw that coming. I knew was, I should have just let him come out. Because that guy up top would have shot at him and I would have not lost my position. That sucks. Dude, we got mad kills that game though. Like, we got a boatload of fucking frags, dude. So that was fine. I'll take that. God damn. God damn. Dude, this fucking juice, though, man. I know, we were fucking right there. Oh, no, that's it. Like, once you once you die in the game, you're done. There's no respawning. You're fucking out. You're done. You gotta restart. You can't, like, come back. You're, you're dead, you're dead. You got it. You're done. Which sucks. But it also makes the game... It makes a lot, the game make a lot more sense. But it gets tricky, dude. Like, that's where the game gets tricky, is where you end up with, like five guys left and they start making the map smaller and smaller if you stay outside that white circle you're gonna die the gas will kill you it gets real bad like the circle gets to be like that big and if you're in the blue area if you're in the gas you're dead within like 10 seconds so a lot of people play like really close to the gas like they play the edge of the gas and just move in with it and people like expose themselves i should have just let that guy come at me that's all i should have done but I don't know, I was kind of hoping I could drop him and it would bring the other guy out of the house, but that fucking, it, uh, it's what makes this game tricky is you gotta like, you really gotta plan out like who you wanna kill, when you wanna shoot, when you don't wanna shoot. Uh, no, I think mine's crashed like once and that's it. Um, I love the AKM, dude. The AKM is probably my favorite gun. Um, and probably the Scar. Those are probably my two favorites. I haven't gotten the triangular sniper rifles yet because I haven't gone for any of the packages. What up, Chief? Alright, um... It's probably gonna be bad heads going over there. I'm gonna go for... 
gonna go for the prison, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for the houses over on the peninsula over here. That's where I'm gonna go. Hey, thanks, dude. I'm gonna try. I doubt I'm gonna get a chicken dinner tonight, but that's all right. I, I don't need it. I don't need it. I'll be good without it. Like, you can die five seconds in. Like, I could legit, like, drop down and have somebody come over here with me and end up getting clipped and die five seconds in. I, I, I would prefer, though, to die, like, right off the bat than to spend, you know, 30 minutes in a game and then get clipped. Like, that fucking sucks to put all that time and get all that loot and then get fucking winged. I, I really got to try using the car 98 more though because the car 98 does so much damage I just don't understand how people one tap with the body. I don't get that Like that fucking sucks Like I'm running around with a full vest full helmet everything I clipped in the hip and I'm dead Yeah, I hit somebody fucking nine times with it and they're still up These places always have guns in them, I swear to god. Look at this. 4X, right off the rip. Quick draw for an SMG, I will take that. How long are each round? Um, it's, it, it eventually, I mean, it takes as long as it takes, but like, you know, they shrink the map, so like, you have to move towards each other, and that's how they kind of stop people from just camping out and waiting. Um, but I mean, an average game probably takes about a half an hour to 40 minutes give or take. I should probably grab that flash hider, but I don't want to have it taken up space if I never end up with a fucking sniper. Yeah, I, I'd say the average game takes about 30 minutes. I'd say. Something like that. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, that's what we need is stuff like that. And stuff like that. Level 3 military. Oh my god. So much armors. So much fucking armors, dude. I haven't gotten any of those snipers. I've yet to pick one up, dude. I've yet to get one out of a crate, which I don't really go for the crates that much, but I have not gotten one out of a crate, and I've not picked one up off somebody that's got one out of a crate. Frag grenade, blah, blah, blah. I hope I'm not ballistic, why not? If we... Like, we have this whole place to search, so, like... Hopefully we get some good stuff, dude. That would be awesome. See, I don't go for crates. Every time I go for crates, I get fucking stomped on, dude. I get dicked on like crazy. Nah, dude. It's all good, man. Ask away. Nah, dude. I, dude, ask questions, man. I don't it, don't. it don't bother me none. I would rather people ask questions and like actually give me something to talk about than for people to not be saying anything at all. And then I'm sitting here like not have like I can't like converse with myself. I'm really bad at talking to myself unless there's like a subject to talk about but like I'm not good at just like keeping up a conversation on my own that's not a strong point for me so when people are talking and we have something to talk about that makes streaming a lot easier for me oh there should be a car over here too like a car car wait was that extended quick draw no it was quick draw shit 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 Well, I'm like top five in the world, so 500 is pussy shit, nerd. He wishes he was good. He wishes he was as good as I am. Alright, painkillers and bandages. I gotta stop stocking up on bandages as much as I do. I really do. Let's see, what do we got? Not, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Another 2x, which I don't need. Some 9 mil, which I do need. Energy drink. Let's see. Um, there's no other floor to this house. How far do I have to go? Oh my god, really, dude? I've got to go all the way across the map. Fuck me. Alright, well, we got to get some loot in a hurry, dude. Damn. Uh, hands, you know what? You can eat a dick. How about that? Alright. What do you think of that, hands? You fucking chud. I'm only kidding. I love you, hands. JK. JK, LOL. 
dot com. All right. Um, I gotta like boogie, dude. I really gotta boogie. I don't have like any time to fuck around here. I gotta drive. Well, not really. This this first ring is slow as fuck. But I've gotta drive all the way across the map, which might actually work out kind of well for me. Like I might, I I I might be able to sneak into some places here. There should be a car. Um, is it this place? No, it's this is the garage. That one right there. There should be a car in here. The other side of that wall. Damn, yo, is there enough fucking shit on the floor? Holy. Let's see, level two helmet, bandages, bandages. Oh no, this is the restaurant. Shit, where's the car? I was kind of hoping to get a suppressor for this thing. Oh, come on, bruh. Give me a gun for that 7.6 and I'll be happy. There's the car. You still can't change it, dude. My god. How? It's been, dude, it's been like months, homie. I think you just don't want to change it. Honestly, I like, I legitimately think you just don't want to change it. Like, no joke, dude. I think you like having your name as Jay Shed. I think you, I think you don't actually care. I don't think you want to change it. Oh, this is fucked up, dude, that I've found, like, nothing in this place. These little sheds treat me well, let's see. Yeah, real well. Treat treat me good, dude. No, it's not that he doesn't know how, it's that it won't let him. Like he's not completely retarded. Drew P. Wiener? Yes. I th I think you should do that. 100%. Make your name Drew P. Wiener. Dr. Drew P. Wiener. Wow, dude, there's a ton of military vests out here, dude. Holy. Yeah, but it's fucked up, because he changed, dude, he legit changed his name months ago. Like, it was no joke, This that happened how many months ago, dude? That was like two months ago. thing is like right on my ass. Really? A 90 day wait. You've got to be. Oh shit. That's the prison. you got to be getting close to that 90 days though, right? Oh no. Oh no. We can outrun the gas. We can do it. I know we can. We can outrun the shit out of it. So you'll see, you'll see how long it takes me to get across this map, dude, of how big it is. This is probably a really bad idea to go down here like this, but I don't exactly have any other options. Actually, that was really open. I wasn't expecting that. Now, do I have to go over any bridges? No, I don't. I can see. Sack, Jack. 
grass tastes bad. Head at Felix Lunas' body. Oh, this is like a horrible place to come in. the shit was all looted. Why wouldn't it be? Really? Is this a joke? Oh no. He didn't have shit either. Nope, yeah, no, this is all fun for yourself. This is like all for one, dude. There is there is duos though. Like if you're grouped up with people, you can't play with them. But like, I don't know. I feel like it's really tricky to play with too big of a squad. Cause like when you're playing duos, you know that if you kill somebody, um, there's one other person to look out for. But when you're playing in squads, like I feel like it's kind of tricky because there's like three or four man squads. Some shit went down here. Oh man. I gotta find some shit to loot. And this is not a good place to check. So this shit's all been looted. Deads, ghosts, and zombies every day for like three months. I was about to unsub and never come back. Alright, 
I get I need like a real gun. We got dude, we gotta find something that's unlooted here. Yeah, no, you can go into a house and have a bunch of guns, and then the next game, that same house is empty. No, no, you just gotta open up every door and check every single house. Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. I got my fill of CS last night. I haven't played that game in so long, and I, I had my fill last night. But, yeah, maybe. I'm not gonna make it, like, a regular thing, though. Like, I'm not just gonna start, like, 1v1ing people in Counter-Strike. I don't, I don't want to, like, turn my channel into that, because that'll happen real quick. So what really sucks here is that I can't really, I can't really go nuts here because I don't really have a gun, at least not one that's very useful. So I'm just going to try to slither around here without making any noise and just hopefully not get clipped in the ass with a fucking car. Yeah, I might. I don't know. I'm going to think about it. I really, I don't really enjoy playing CS too, too much. Like, every once in a while I do, but, like, it's rare. It's rare that I actually want to sit there and fucking play Counter-Strike. I did last night just because I said I would. Um, alright, let's see. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Wanna drop the 762 ammo? I mean not particularly.
I'm just gonna chill here for a minute. Now I know there's people over this way. I'm just not totally positive where they are. I'm like moving my head up like this, like I can see over the ledge more if I move my head. I'm an idiot. I'm hoping somebody comes like running right up to that buggy. Because that would be dope. What is he doing? Where was that guy just going? Like, for real, though. He didn't die, so, like, what the fuck? Oh, I gotta go far. That's not good. see anything drivable either. <laughs> this might be GG for us right here. Pretty sure I'm gonna die. God damn, dude. That fucking guy just fucked me. Son of a bitch, man. That's what I don't... I hate when that shit happens. I really do. I fucking really hate when that kind of shit happens. That's, uh... I gotta be honest, Hands, that's a pretty gay bike. Gotta tell ya. That's horrible. That thing is absolutely horrible. He did, dude. That was fucked up, man. Like, that was really fucked up.
fucking blows. Oh, what'd you get, dude? Well, the guy on the hill, him stopping and shooting at me, caused me to have to stop to shoot and kill him. And the time that I wasted, the fucking 10 seconds I wasted, I could have gotten that much closer to being out of the gas. Or I would have had that much more of a head start in the gas. And it probably would have been enough for me to just not die. Like, just enough to not die. Maybe not, though. It's, it's, it's hard to tell, but... He should have just kept running. He was a noob. He just he should have just kept running like I did. And then we could have dealt with it at the gas. Him stopping fucked him and me. He should have just he should have just kept running like a normal human being. I was in the gas. They they put the gas to stop. That that's how they close up the map. So people don't just camp and wait out the whole game, you know what I mean? Hey, what up, Ivan? Yeah, that's the big blue wall. And it does, like, in the earlier sections of the game, it really doesn't do that much damage. Like, it really doesn't inflict an insane amount of damage on you. Like, you can hang out in it for minutes at a time and just bandage up. It takes off, like... 2% of your health like every couple seconds so like you can survive out there for a minute and if you have an energy drink it'll like keep up with it and you'll be fine um, but if you end up like there where the game's getting close to being done um, that shit will kill you in about 10 seconds it's no joke like that gas fucking and at the end of the game if you're in the gas for when the uh, for when it's on it's final uh ring you literally will be dead in like two seconds like this shit takes away like a quarter of your health every time it ticks so within a matter of like i don't know 15 seconds you're dead that's it a 1911 is the best i'm going to get out of this house okay take back everything i just said my bad Okay, this house actually proved to be uh, pretty good. <laughs> Sorry, Gabe. <laughs> Thought you were fucking with me. Although, I do need a bag really bad. Yeah, no, it's bad. It, it gets really bad. Level one vest, hell yeah. Yeah, we're in it, bro. Nice, dude. Oh, you got the mesh already? Why did you get the mesh, dude? Why did you do that? Ugh. You had me all excited with the 1111, and then you got the mesh. Which one did you get? Please tell me that you got the fucking... Please tell me you got the witcher call it. The, um... Not that fucking the one with the two posts that comes straight up. Please tell me you got the one that's like the postless style deck. What do you mean which kind of settings? I don't want video? Oh, the, okay, so you can actually run it like a real RDA then. Okay, that's cool. That's fine then. Uh, I got everything maxed out. I just don't like... I, I don't know. I don't like how they hit. The guy at the shop has one, and I hate how they hit. They, they have... And, like, the flavor isn't even good. 
like everyone says they're so good for flavor, but literally I think they taste that you get a lot more muted flavor. Personally. And I, I don't like how much cotton it takes to wick the fucking thing. It literally takes like a full jab pad to wick it. Um, let's see. I checked back here as the bathroom. Let's go downstairs. However, the 1111 is a good pickup. That one I'm amped for you. I need a scope. Wicked bad. Fucking shotgun, come on now. What do I have? Quick or extended? Hollow sight will work for now. But I'm gonna have to scrap it here pretty soon. Level one bag, nobody wants that shit. Don't want that either. Another shotgun, perfect. Just what I didn't need. 2x scope, that's better. It's not perfect, but it's better. Level 1 vest, 5.5, which I don't need, but I'll take it in case I find that M16. Go back downstairs. Uh, my favorite gun is probably, probably the Scar? No, probably the AK, definitely the AK. Vector, dude. I'd rather the Vector than the Uzi, though. The Vector at least does damage. go towards the city that's why I just looted maybe there's a car over here hopefully there is I need a vehicle pretty bad I got a feeling though I'm gonna start seeing people coming down the hills here pretty soon oh perfect there's a doom buggy right there Beautiful. Um, I work on these big fucking stupid fancy extravagant motorhomes. Like these big like 50 foot motorhomes. It, it sounds... Oh shit. Really dude? Really? Fucking piece of junk. What a piece of shit. How do you make no sense? God damn it, man. That fucking blows, dude. What a bitch. I didn't even see him, dude. He must have just been, like, laying down in the grass camping that dune buggy. And I died to a fucking... That dude's aim is insane. He was able to fucking hit me three times with that thing. I'm very chill. Why don't you fucking chill? Oh, man, that fucking sucks, dude. I was not expecting to die from that gun. Like, at all. Like, I was not expecting to be taken out by an S1897. Like, not today, not yesterday, not ever. That fucking... Mm, that really fucked me up. That gun does so much damage, though. Like, legit. That gun does so much fucking damage. fucking wrecked me, dude. He, he hit me three fucking times in a row. Probably about due for another battery here. Oh, shit. I gotta go. Oh, shit.
getting 3.7 on the dot. Like I said, I mean, you get the triple X, just make sure you get it with the comp switch. It's like an extra 15 bucks, dude, and it's, it's so worth it. It's got a lot more throw than I want, but the comp switch is fucking where it's at. Hola, no volume for me, so I'll lurk. Okay, well, hi Kirby. Hello. Hi Kirby! Kirby, hi! Kirby! Hello, Kirby, hello! These are my houses right fucking here. These little these little shacks are where I'm at. He really is. Like Hans is such an ass all the time. Like I'm a dick, like 80% of the time, but he's an ass 24-7. Like he's just straight dick. He's never nice ever. I mean, once in a while he says something nice, but like, a hundred percent of the time, he's just a complete dick. Oh, there's a car right here too. Fuck. Oh, this is where I spawned in last time. Dope. Um, no, he's like the asshole of the group. I'm doing very well, Kirby. I hope you are doing well as well. Hopefully you can read my lips. No, he's like, he's like the asshole of the group. We love him. He's our asshole, but he's an asshole nonetheless. Pretty much anything you say, hold like make it funny about it. So, like you could be like, "Hey, I donated a million dollars to charity for cancer research," and hold be like, "Should have donated to you, fucking loser." Like he's straight dick all the time. Like I've heard him be polite before, but like, eh, it's it's rare. I think it's when he has a couple beers in him. He's nice. He, he actually gets nicer when he drinks, which is, like, completely the opposite of what he usually is. Uh, it's both. <laughs> Fuck you, bro. What the fuck was that about? And I have no. F oh, I do have bandages. Okay, that's cool. I did not know somebody spawned over here with me. God damn. Alright, so I'm basically in like a shit position now because. I'm low on health, and I've got, like... Alright, so he cleared this house, so there's nothing in here for me. God damn, dude. That dude scared the fuck out of me. I was not expecting to get shot at right there. Like, not in the slightest. Hey, what up, Chado? How you doing, homeboy? Alright, we gotta get some good loot out of this house. Ooh, a coat. Cool. Another fucking shotgun, dude. Hell yeah. That's exactly what I wanted. So, okay. So, do you guys want to hear something kind of like... Tell me what your opinion is. If you guys knew somebody, um, if if you guys knew somebody who made an Instagram account for their cat, and all they do is post shit for their cat, and it's not, and it doesn't come off as a joking manner, what would you, how would you guys feel about that? It's just like cat pictures all the time. 
and it, and and the posts are from like the cat's point of view. Like, oh, I just had a bath. Look at me. But like, it's not like funny. How would you guys feel if you if you opened your Instagram and saw that all the time? Oh man, I'm getting boned here, dude. Oh, that's a rusted one. Ball sack. Oh, this fucking sucks. This is not good. Oh, there we go. I swear to God, if I go to get in this car and I get fucking winged again by somebody laying in the grass, I'm going to lose my shit. Cater, how you doing, dude? Thanks, thanks for the hot tip, Shadow. All right, let's see. Let's hit this, dude. I really need a gun, dude. Like, I need a gun. Fucking yesterday. Uh, I got a sight already. Good. Wow, this fucking blows. This fucking blows the chunks. Like big chunks and big nuts. Big truck nuts. As long as nobody comes over here and I can fucking check these other houses, dude, I'll probably be okay. Probably. There's nothing even in here. That's what we want is a fucking is a is a goddamn crossbow. When I came towards this house, I was like, "Wow, I really really hope that somewhere there's a crossbow in this house." I know a lot of people say it's dope, but I don't see it. Look at this, yo, there's nothing. Like there's actually nothing. There's like actually no gun for me. This isn't good, dude. This is like really bad. Um, I would give PUBG in its current state like an 8 out of 10 probably. It's still like in an alpha kind of setup so like it's not even close to done. Yo, th I'm, this is not good. This is really bad that I'm this, we're this far in and I still haven't found a gun. This is like super not good. Um I guess we'll head down that way. I don't know. I don't know where to go here. I don't know where to look that hasn't been looted. Like I cannot get into a confrontation right now. I've got no weapons of value. So, like, this isn't good. Ah, uh, my favorite gun is the AK.
I think there's somebody in this house. Cause like none of this shit has been looted yet. And the doors were shut. Or this shit has been looted I should say. wasn't. Maybe this house just has a lot of shit loot. Okay, so wow, this house is junk. This house has nothing of value. Wow. I'm getting fucked. Like this is this 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 is really bad. Please, I really need for this house right here to have an AK or something. Please, dude, put an AK on the floor somewhere. Please. Look at this, dude. Nothing. Like, there's nothing, man. There's nothing around here for me. Like, dude, there's. I'm legit getting completely fucked right now. Like, this game is fucking me right now. I don't know what to do. Where'd my car go? Did somebody. Oh, it's over on the side. This sounds like. Did somebody steal my fucking car? I'm gonna get winged so hard. Oh, did that fucking guy just loot it? Oh my god, he did. Son of a bitch. Well, it, it, maybe I'll get lucky and there'll be like an M16 in here or something and he already had one. Really? Are you fucking serious, dude? Oh my god, that's so fucking infuriating. He misses. He misses every single fucking shot. 
the farther away I get, the more he misses. Then he clips me in the fucking head, dude. Fuck this game. Honestly, bro. Fucking, yo, people play this game like such fucking pussies. Honestly. Fucking dude is camping on the edge of the gas with a fucking car. What a fucking bitch. Like, legit, though. People fucking do the fucking most pussy shit in this game to get kills. It's unreal. He fucking misses. How many shots did he miss? Like, legit. He missed, like, what, 15 or 20 shots? And then, the, and then like, he wasn't even close. He wasn't even close to hitting me. That was, I swear to God, that shot was straight luck. That was a straight luck shot. He wasn't even fucking aiming. He was probably like, Oh my God! Oh my God! You guys should have seen this kill! Like, I swear to God, he's like freaking out over that kill right now. He's as happy as I am, man. He just got so lucky. Like, fuck him and fuck his family, honestly. Like, no joke, dude, I'll guarantee you that he's, like, all fucking, like, I'm, I'm sending that in for a trick shot montage. I missed all these other shots, but I hit this one. Guarantee it. I'll guarantee you he's all fucking bragging about that kill right now. Like, he fucking meant to do that. Fucking little bitch-ass motherfucker. If I had a gun, if this fucking game gave me a gun, I wouldn't even gone into that. Gone for that crate. And I got a Corza, too. You should be able to shoot from the water. I think that they should add that, where you can, like, you can pop shots. Like, maybe it's really inaccurate, but you should be able to pop shots from the water. I know it doesn't make a lot of sense, but I think you really should be able to shoot from the water. Like, legit. If you've got an Xbox, and you can use a controller. You can use a PS4 controller, too. If you have a console, you can use controllers. That's what I'm saying. Like, you shouldn't just be left dead in the water. Like, if you're in the water, you're fucked. Like, you should, like, it should, it should, yeah, it should bounce you around. Like, it should be, like, in a car where you kind of bob up and down. You got to be, like, real tricky. But, like, you should be able to shoot in the water. I think it's crazy that you can't. Really? Really? Game? Really? I think somebody spawned over here with me. Oh, he did. <laughs> yeah, you fucker. Had a fucking UMP. Eat a dick, dude. I'm getting infuriated now. Like, I'm getting fucking annoyed. Well, it's... it. it this game is like still like in its beta stage like it's still not by any means completed and like every couple weeks they add stuff you can message them on the fucking forum and shit and they'll look into stuff but uh, raw game mechanics they're not totally they're not introducing anything they're just tweaking what they have and what they're doing what's fucked up is what they're doing is they're adding like all this dumb shit they don't need to add like this game would be fine if they just had like the, the clipping and the glitching fixed and they made it so you can, like, do certain things you can. Like, they don't need to, like, work on some of this dumb shit. Like, they're working on some shit that doesn't mean, like, one of the things they need to fix. One thing they really need to fix is they need to make it so if you're really long distance from somebody and you're laying down, the grass around you you're hiding in doesn't appear on people's screens, but you do. So you look like a big black blotch right on the side of a hill and you're not even covered. 
So like, if you if you camp with a car, you can just clip people off who think they're fucking hiding, and it's fucked up. They need to fix that shit real bad. I've gotten killed so many times from that. This game fucking infuriates me like no other game. I would give it that. Like, this game gets me more fucking mad than any other game I've ever played. Assuming I have one, but no, dude, I've been single for fucking years, dude. It's starting to catch up with me too. I've been trying to put myself out there more, but like, I don't, I don't know how to date anymore. I fucking spent from the age of like 20 up until I don't know. No, I no, from like the age of 19 until the age of like 24, 23, I was dating the same person. Like this, like. Like, the, the first chick that I actually really dated, I ended up getting engaged to, and then that went to shit, and I, I just don't know how to, like, date. I don't know how to be single. I don't know how to date. All my friends, like, go out to the bar and shit, and I'm like, nah, I don't really want to, like, go to the bar to pick up chicks. Like, I don't want to meet some fucking, like, drunk-ass chick who seems cool, and then, like, I find out she's a pain in the ass, and now I'm, like, stuck having her around. Yeah, well, I don't really have much to shake, so, you know. I told you, bro, I'm hung like a mosquito. And, I mean, that's bragging. Um, let's see. Yo, my reflection right there just scared the shit out of me. I thought that was a window. <clears throat> I can legit, dude, I can fuck a mosquito through a screen door. Um, let's see. Now, I don't know, I mean, I, like, I don't, I don't want to be single anymore, but at the same time, like, I, I also don't want to, like, be fucking, you know, tied down with shit. Like, I don't want to be, like, you know, um, you know, I, I mean, I'm, I, I'm definitely not happy. Like, I'm not, like, you know, upset about it, but, like, you know, it's nice to have somebody around. You know what I mean? Like, it's nice to have somebody to talk to all the time and shit, but, um, this is not, like, a big deal. God damn, dude. Is it gonna be another one of these games? Like, legit. Look at this. Fucking pants. There's clothes everywhere. But, I don't know. I'm, I'm slowly working on it, but I, I just don't even know how to go about it anymore. All my friends are like, you, you should be, like, online dating. And I'm like, yeah, dude, that's exactly, oh, there we go. Oh, it's an S12, fuck you. Like, that's exactly what I want. I want to find some fucking crazy bitch on the internet. That's exactly what I want. <laughs> like, yes, perfect. That's what I need in my life right now, is to pick up some fucking crazy chick. Okay, so at least I got that. So that's dope. Whoops. Let's put you there. Let's get rid of you. Let's grab you. Let's grab you. You, you, you. That doesn't go on that. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, 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 level two. Hell yeah. It's the the one thing, honestly, the one thing that um that like really makes me not want to date is I was dating a girl last year, and because of dating her, it like I oh perfect. 
I like I wasn't able to like I, I like streaming I enjoy gaming I enjoy streaming it's what I do and I wasn't able to like stream like I would come home from work and I would want to stream and I'd want a game and she wasn't like a gamer chick at all like she really didn't even like understand games and like she and like so I'd want to like hang out and play games and she's like I don't really like games and I'd be like oh fuck me you know what I mean and it, it, I don't know, it just makes, like, I, I need to find a chick who enjoys video games. Like, I need to find a chick I can play video games with. That's what it boils down to. And, like, I, I couldn't. Like, I could not stream. I couldn't game. I couldn't stream. She'd come over. And, like, I couldn't, I couldn't fucking play games if I wanted to. Like, that wasn't even the question, dude. And, like, legit, that's, like, that's why we ended up breaking up was because I couldn't, I couldn't fucking play games. Like as dumb of a reason as that sounds, it's it's the truth. Oh shit, I got a boogie here pretty soon. Oh, I checked this house already. Okay. Well, it wasn't that, like, she was controlling. It was just that, like, you know, I'd be sitting there trying to play a game and she'd be bored as fuck. And, like, I felt bad. It wasn't that it was, like... It, she'd be like, oh, I'm not, you know, it wasn't even like that, um, it was just that, like, I'd be playing games, and, you know, like, there was a lot of times I was streaming, and she was in the background, and, like, nobody knew, like, you know, she, oh, boy, she didn't want to, like, make it, like, a thing that she was there, and so, like, I'd be sitting there gaming, and she'd be sitting on my bed, and as fuck, and I felt bad, I was like, damn, dude, I was like, fucking four girls coming over to hang out, and I'm just like, God, if this guy kills me, I'm gonna fucking stop playing. He's still, he's still shooting at me. Oh, God damn it. Wait, didn't I just drink that? No, I didn't. Oh, it wasted it, but I didn't drink it. What? Are you serious? Alright, let's see. Let's fucking... Uh, what do we got? Nothing there. Get out of here. So I know there's people around here. I really don't want to use a first aid kit already. Like, I really fucking don't.
There was nobody in this house? What? Shotgun. Yo, this game. This game is fucking me on loot tonight, dude. I had like one good game for loot, and then since then it's all been shit. This game hates me, dude. Like, legit, this game hates me. And that's all there is to it. I can get a fucking... Oh, wait, no, I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I got that. The thing that's funny is that the um this game is like it's it's not even a this game is actually like a it's a mod. This game is a mod that a couple of guys created and they it ended up getting so popular so quick that I think uh, uh the company Bluehole bought the game or the 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 license for the game off the guys that made the mod and um And they were like, you know, they were like, yeah, we'll fucking, you know, we'll throw down money to help keep the game alive if you fucking work on it. And that's kind of what it turned into. So, like, these guys who made this game basically for fun have probably made enough money off this game in the last, like, six months that it's been out. That's, like, as much money as they need to survive for the rest of their lives. Like, no joke. Like, this game has gotten so popular since it came out. And, you know, the cheapest I've seen this game was like $15 or so. So you gotta think, they're making 15 bucks minimum off a clip, and they probably sold like... I don't even know how many copies. Like a metric fuck ton. Um, I don't know, I think so. Pretty sure they're from the US. Oh, bam. Well, it's it's kind of cool because, like, I guess I can't remember what game was this modded from. Uh, oh, this is an Unreal game. So, 
they took the Unreal, uh, like, map editor, which is a free utility, and these guys spent, like, I don't know, probably a year or two getting this thing, this game worked out, and then they dropped it as a free game. And it fucking, people downloaded, like, a couple million copies in the course of, like, you know, a month. And then they made it fucking, you know, like, you gotta pay for it. Or they released it to begin with for cheap, and, pe and so many people bought it, they fucking were like, alright, well, I guess we'll sell it like a real game. Um, I, well, I've heard about this game uh, for a long time. Like, I've known about this game for a fucking minute. Oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. Is minimized by accident. Dude, it really is. This game is fucking killing me. Oh yeah, I, I clipped his head right off. Oh my god. Oh, that's the wrong gun. No, bro. Uh, yeah, I'm on Twitch right now. I, I dual stream. I'm on YouTube and Twitch. All the same time. Alright, so at least we've got, like, some guns and shit now. How much ammo do I have? Uh, barely many. At least for the M16. I really needed, like, a level 3 bag right there. I, I would have been so much better off if I had a level 3 bag. Oh shit.
That dude is fucking pissed right now. Yes, I am streaming through Twitch. Whoops, wrong gun. Fucking god, bro. He's he's fucking all the way across the map, dude. Unreal, dude. I'm telling you, dude. Like, I'm not even kidding. There's fucking people in this game that cheat and they fucking spawn in with a car and they camp all the way across the map and they just and they just snipe people from across the map. Like, I know for a fact the dude that killed me fucking killed like 30 people that game. Like, I've seen it, dude. Like, I've seen it on fucking YouTube. There's people who have fucking... You can get... Like, you can download cheats. And once you load in the game, it doesn't randomize. It doesn't randomize where the game's gonna end. When you load up your game, it already knows exactly where it's gonna end. So people can spawn in, and as they're dropping out of the plane, it tells them where the game is gonna end. So they can spawn in and open up their little mod... And they can give themselves whatever guns they want. They can just camp in the circle and just fucking wait. Anybody that comes near them, they fucking drop. They have fucking, like, regular wall hacks, so it shows where everybody is. So if somebody's within shooting range, they just fucking clip them. Like, it's insanity, dude. The fucking hacks for this game are crazy as fuck. And the, and the thing that really sucks is that... Like, what really, really fucking sucks is that there's no anti-cheat for this game. The only anti-cheat there is is Sneer is VAC, and VAC is garbage. Especially for games like this, where it's not, like, completely done. These are, like, the worst games to play for trying to not see cheaters. Oh, dude, there's there's tons of cheats in this game. This game is probably one of the worst games for a cheating community right now. Like, 15 to 20% of the players cheat. They can't. You can't. They can't. They can't patch, or you can't ban people for a cheat. You don't know how the cheat is, is getting into the game. Like they, they can't have an Overwatch kind of situation for this game. Um, wait, am I going the right way? Yes. They can't have like an Overwatch system because it's hard to tell if somebody's cheating in this game unless they're like completely blatant. Uh, back doesn't work on this game because it's not like it's 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 not like a done game. If it was like a sixty dollar done game, they would pay attention to it, but it's not, so they don't. Like this game is a hacker's paradise. It's, it's basically the cheating in this game works the exact same way it does in GTA 5. So if you have like uh, EMP hacks and like spawn mods, you can just destroy people. Like. Like, uh, if you see somebody right in the beginning of the game, if you see somebody spawn in, and in the first, like, couple seconds of the game, they start killing people with a fucking, um, with, like, a car 98, they probably spawned it in. Like, it's, it's fucking crazy. Oh, no, it's, it's just like Counter-Strike. Counter-Strike has fucking a, an incredible amount of cheaters in it, too. Any, any game you play on PC is gonna have a huge cheating community, and that's, that's... That's one of the drawbacks to playing on PC, is cheaters are going to be in every single game you play. Even if they're like, oh, there's no cheaters in this game, there is. Um, when I used to play World of Warcraft back in the day, everybody was always like, oh, dude, I love WoW, because there's no cheaters. There's, like, nobody that can cheat. There's no way to cheat. And then you go and you play uh, PvP, and everybody and their mother is using, like, all these crazy cheats that make them, like, unhittable, or they're fucking... Um, uh, they're like, you know, lag switching and shit like that. Like, dude, the lag switchers in this game are immense. Like, lag switching is the biggest thing I've seen. Oh, 
Um, well, dude, even in Counter-Strike, you don't get banned. There's people that cheat for years on end and never get banned. But, no, I mean, you can get banned on here, but, like, the only way to get banned is to have, like, hardcore video footage of somebody cheating. That's the only way to get banned, is if you send them a video clip of somebody, like, propped up on the top of a mountain who's just sitting there just popping off shots at people that aren't even on their screen. Like, that's the only way to do it. Like, somebody sent me a... Oh, uh, it's an S12. Somebody sent me a demo of somebody, um, and the guy was literally camping um, at, like, the tallest point of the map. He was, like, at the top of the mountain. The dude spawned into the game. He jumped out of the airplane, went to the top of the mountain, and he stood still for, like, I don't know, like, a couple minutes on top of the mountain. And then the next thing you know, all these guns start spawning in on the ground. Fucking AKM with tons of ammo, level 3 bag, level 3 helmet, level 3 armor. Fucking all this shit. A car with an AX scope next to it. All this shit starts spawning, and the guy picks it up. And then he's sitting on top of the mountain. And he's just firing off shots that, like, look random, but they're not. They're hitting people and killing people from across the map. Like, people you can't even see. He's, like, clipping people who are fuck. Ooh, an M4. Dope. He's fucking shooting people who are, like, literally, um... They're, they're literally completely in a building, completely out of his sight. No way that he could possibly see these people. Yet this dude is fucking killing him with headshots. Like, one-shot headshots. And the dude, I think he got like he got like 35 kills in a matter of a couple minutes. Oh, that's the shit right there. I was like, dude, this is so ridiculous. I was like, this is so completely insane. My buddy's like, yeah, well, that's how this fucking game is. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's like GTA 5. You ever seen somebody cheat on GTA 5? You know what I'm talking about. Like, it, it's just nuts. I don't know, that, that, that's, that's one of the reasons that I'm, like, really fucking excited to get my hands on a console, because console cheaters are a lot less common. Like, they're definitely there. I'm not denying that they're there, but cheating on PC is, like, a regular thing. Like, if you can play a multiplayer game for an entire afternoon and not come across a single cheater in any game, I would be fucking amazed. Look at all this. Oh my god, look at this, dude. Damn, dog. I just got I just got hooked up in this one corner. I was not expecting that. Look at all this 76. No, 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 not this game. I'm just getting a console in general for uh, for the new um, for the new Call of Duty when it comes out, so I can start. Cause like right now, um, PlayStation 4 gets all of the DLCs and all that shit um, like a month early, um, and that, and I'm looking to I'm looking to get down on that action this year. Yeah, well, I'm probably gonna die with all these goodies. Watch, watch me die like in th three seconds. I don't get to kill anybody. That's how it happens. Dude. That's how my games go. Like the games that like I'm not like I'm not even paying attention. I win. And then the games that like I end up with really really good gear. I don't get to kill anybody. And then the games that I play like shit. I just die a miserable death. This is a good setup right here, though. The only thing better would be if I had another 8X, or if I had an 8X to put on that SKS, and it was a Car 98 instead of a SKS. That'd be the only way to make it better. 
but this is a pretty dank train setup that I got. to get a suppressor on this thing now. Either a suppressor or a flash hider or something would be fucking tits, dude. Like, that would just make this whole game just amazing if I got a suppressor. played zombie army trilogy i have not i've seen it on steam a lot though i've i've considered downloading it a couple times now honestly but i i still haven't I got a level 3 bag, what am I doing? So, like, nobody spawned- what the hell is going on here? I thought it was free to play. Zombie- I thought Zombie Army Trilogy was free. So this might get interesting. That's a fifty dollar game? What?
Is he gonna come in here or what? Like, I don't understand. What is? It? How long is it gonna take him to loot that house? I hear him over there. Like, he's still running around. I can only assume he's gonna come in this house. Um, I don't know. I probably average out like three or four hours, I'd say. Yo, where the fuck is he? I feel like he heard me. And he's camping me out. Oh boy. He's got to get in that truck right there. Like, if, he's got to get in that truck. I think he's just camping, bro. I think this guy's legit camping in this house. Is. He's got no intention of fucking leaving that house. What a cock. I'm gonna do the same thing. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna wait this guy out. He's got no idea that I'm here. So I'm just gonna wait homeboy out. If and when he decides to get back in that car, I'm gonna fucking drop his ass. I think he's got the same idea I have. He's just fucking... He's just... He's just chilling. Well, I'll bet you that as soon as the gas starts our way, he's going to go to get in that car, and I'm going to pop him out of this window, and I'm going to fucking double tap him as soon as he gets in the car. He very well could have heard me, but it's really hard to hear somebody when they're laying down and they're shift crawling. It's really hard to hear people. So I'm going to go ahead and assume he's just chilling. I don't think he's going to leave. I think he's just going to sit there. Well, like, I wasn't even camping. I was fucking... I was going to loot this house. And I thought he was going to go check the house. And then come and try to loot this house. And as soon as he opened up the bedroom door, I was going to blast him away. But he decided to not loot and just sit in that house. So that's weird. That's the only thing that has me really confused as to why he just decided to stay in the house. That's what has me really confused. But as soon as he gets in that truck, as soon as he gets in it, I'm going to fucking bop, bam, bam, he's going to be dead and I'm going to loot all his shit. I'll bet you he's not looting because he's got a bunch of good shit. I'll bet you money he's not looting because he's got a ton of good stuff. $100 says that's why he's in there. Wow. 
How did he even do that? How did he even just do that? Unbelievable, bro. Unfucking believable. I just put so much damage on that fucking guy. So he legit, he legit just like glitched into that car. I didn't see him get in it. I didn't see him fucking, I didn't hear him run to it. He legit just spawned in that car and drove away. Wow, dude. That's fucking, this game is getting bad, man. I don't, like, there's so many weird glitches, dude. He probably ran to that car. And just got right in so you can't see him. Like, there is so many weird fucking stupid little glitches in this game. It's crazy. I'm going to play this last one and then I'm done. So even if I die 30 seconds and I'm done for the night, I got a big day tomorrow. I got to build a ton of coils tomorrow. Um, but I'm going to try to stream, like, all day and all night tomorrow if I can. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to run to the gas station tomorrow. I'll get a couple of Java monsters. I was gonna do like a like a 24 hour stream, but I don't think that's gonna happen because I fucking um because I uh I'm tired. <laughs> but I don't I don't think he was cheating. I just I think there's I don't know that was just super fucking weird. That was super weird that he just like randomly appeared in the car as the thing revved up. Like he didn't run unless he ran across my screen and I didn't notice it. He like straight up um. He just straight up appeared in that car. That was fucking weird as fuck, dude. I've never seen that one. That, that's a new one to me. Fucking clouds, bro. I I heard him take a step, but like I didn't hear him run to the car. I heard him move in the house. Um, I heard him move in the house, and then he just suddenly was in the driver's seat, peeling away. Is that all AFKs? That's all AFK players. Oh my god. Now what's really funny is when all those AFK players fucking when they when they when you go FK in this game, it'll drop you off in the ocean. Or wherever, and you'll see just like a boatload of people die in the gas. It's so fucking funny. Like, I've legit watched like 10 or 15 people die in the gas all at the same time. It's fucking hilarious. Alright. I gotta loot this shit like real quick. That's not what I wanted to grab, but that's okay. I gotta make my way to that other section of houses over there. Oh, I was hoping that was gonna be drivable. I was all excited. I was like, yes. Might be a car out here on the road, though. No, there's not. Alright. There's a bike right there, though, so that's cool. Hopefully we'll get lucky and there will be some shit in these houses. Because, like, I, I, I don't like having to go the whole beginning of the game playing like a little bitch. Because I don't have any fucking weapons. 
Like, that's what screws you. What, what, what really fucks you in this game is having to, like, play the whole first fucking... Uh, the whole first part of the game like a little bitch and having to, like, run away from people and shit. Because you don't have anything to kill with. Bombs incoming. I, I, I would love to see somebody die to a bomb right now. That would be insane. Alright, please put a gun upstairs. Please put a gun upstairs. Please have a gun upstairs. Alright, well, 4x scope will help when I get a gun. That's cool. Awesome, dude. It's a fucking blast. I mean, if you want to play one together right quick before I go to bed, I'm down. Um, I, it just depends on how long this game lasts and how long it takes you to download and install it. Um, let's see, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, come on, you fuck boy. Did you, uh, did you see my post in the, uh, in the scoundrel black market today. I think you threw a like on it, right? Or am I thinking of somebody else? I I don't think I'm gonna get many hits on it. I'm kinda offering like junk, but at the same time, like not really, because like I'll legit like tomorrow oh, that's cool dude. No worries. I hear you. It's pretty easy to pick up, dude. It's it's pretty it's really not a bad game to get into. Once you play a game or two and you see how everything works, it's really, really not that bad. Like, you literally, all you need to do is just go house to house to house and try to find, like, the highest level armor and helmets and shit you can. Um, you, you really want to try to find a gun immediately. I don't mean a handgun. I mean, like, a gun. Like, you want to find a gun, like a rifle, right off the bat. Like, that's your biggest move. Um... People, a lot of people say to like try to spawn in with everybody else. I don't like to do that because there's always somebody who ends up with a fucking some crazy brutal fucking gun immediately and then you're fucking screwed. Alright, so I didn't get shit from here. That blows. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think my post is going to get much attention, but like, dude, no joke, man. I'll trade like my rig and my fucking Kennedy for one fucking mod, and that's probably gotta be like 250 worth of shit, maybe, give or take, and if somebody's got something really dang, I'll trade all three of those mods for one scout, if they got something dope as fuck. And that high on is worth a lot of money. Um, they're all good. Like, any rifle, AK, M4, M16, Scar, any real rifle that uses 5.5 or 7.6 ammo is a good gun. Um, but like the SMGs, like the Uzi and shit, those are a little bit weak. But any like real rifle is fine. Um, you want to try to find a good scope for it, so you want to try to find like a 4X or an 8X, uh, depending on what you want to do. Um, like you can. You can pretty much snipe with any rifle. Um, how come? Um, it's not that I, I got. I, I I just want I I I don't I have so many mods that I don't use. Um, like I've got so much shit sitting around that I never use, and I've been wanting a scoundrel for a while. And like, I, as much as I want one, I also don't want to spend you know, three or four hundred dollars on one, you know what I mean? And like, if I've got mods that somebody's willing to trade, um, and I don't have to spend any more money on a mod, 
then that's fine. Like, I don't need to collect mods. Like, I like collecting them, but, like, right now I'm, I'm kind of tired of having a huge shelf full of mods that don't get used. I feel bad having mods sitting around that I don't use. You know, like, I feel bad. Like, if somebody out there will use them and is willing to trade, then, like, that's dope. Um, I did and I didn't. It's, there's, they, they sent me their little fix kit, but it's just an O-ring to put on the magnet. Um, I'm just gonna, if somebody wants to trade it, I'm just gonna send it with a broadside plate, and I'm gonna be like, listen, dude, just pay attention with it. It's not gonna, it's, I glued the metal disc in, so that's not gonna happen again, but there's still that little lip there. And there's nothing you can do about it, so like it's fixed-ish. But yeah, like I, I I love my mods. I love everyone that I have. But like, dude, they just sit there, and I really do. I would love to get even just like a. Even just like a first edition copper, I would love that, dude. And they they really don't go for that much. Like the crazy ones do, but I would love a hentai. A hentai would be fucking dope. I love those things. Oh, to fix the rattle? Yeah, well the rattle, the rattle's all set. The rattle's all good. I got that all sorted out. That That's not a problem anymore. But I, I, I wanna I wanna start if I'm gonna have mods from here on out, like I've I've learned that if you if you spend if you don't if, if you if you buy if you don't spend a lot of money and you buy a cheap mod and that's all it is. It's just a cheap mod. Like I, I did love my Kennedy Roundhouse. Um, I thought it was dope. And then now that I'm seeing like once I bought this triple X, like the triple X is a surprisingly good quality mod. At a super low budget, and now that I'm seeing like how mods can be, I'm I'm really wanting to get like an actual quality mod. Um, I would rather spend more money and have a good mod that's gonna last me forever than to keep buying like cheapo shit mods. They're not shit mods. I don't own any shit mods, but you know what I mean. Um, but like, I really do. I want, I really want a scoundrel. I've been wanting one. I had a connoisseur and it was cool, but I hated those little ball bearing fucking contacts. That shit pissed me off. Um, and I, I just, I want to have like a good tube from here on out. And you know, if I can, if I can trade my mods for a, a, a decent scoundrel, that's fine. I mean, the, the ones I have up for trade, like, dude, that's like legit. That Kennedy is probably worth like a hundred dollars. Depending on how you look at it, it could be worth up to like a buck forty or so. That high on is worth like two hundred easy, um, and that rig is worth like what, probably like a hundred bucks, give or take. So I've got like around three hundred to three fifty worth of mods. So I figure if somebody's got something they're willing to trade, then like I'm down. I'm down to get a scoundrel. That's fine with me. I would prefer to not get rid of the Hyon, because the Hyon was given, or was, uh, I bought it off a friend of mine, he gave me a super, super crazy good deal on it. It's a fucking Barnes Brigade switch and cap, so like, it's, it's a dope fucking mod, but it's just, it requires too much maintenance for me to sit there and actually enjoy using it. Like, you gotta tear the 510 apart on like, a fucking, every few days and polish up everything for it to work 100%. If you don't, it starts to fucking misfire and shit, and it's fucking pain in the ass. But, like, when you get it working, that is, like, the hardest hitting stack in the world. Like, that thing is no fucking joke.
Um, the Kennedy is about $120 brand new, and the Scoundrels, like, their bare minimum, like, base Scoundrel is about, what, $250, $300 brand new? Something like that. I, I just I just really I don't know why man I, I just love I just love what the scoundrel brand stands for yeah I really do I, I love the community I, I don't post much like I'm not I'm not in the I don't post in the group all the time like it's you know every every day I'll like re reply to somebody or something I only post when I have like questions and stuff um, but like I don't I don't like you know I'm not like I'm not like an active, active, active member, but like I really love what they stand for. I love the, the the type of people that are in the community, and I want to be able to rep that, you know, whenever I'm just like chilling and shit. Like that's you know, so it's not that like I want to have some fancy mod. I I I want to have a scoundrel just because of what it stands for. So that that's kind of my thing. I don't want like, I don't know. I don't really care what I get. Like I, I would like I would love to just have just like. A standard fucking, you know, I would just love to have a standard, like, regular fucking, like, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know, like, what the expensive ones are. Like, I don't know which ones are, like, the fucking crazy expensive ones. I don't know which ones are the fucking, you know, kind of, like, bottom of the barrel ones. Yeah, I, like, I don't know which ones are which. But, like, I've noticed, like, the standard first edition ones aren't, like, ludicrously expensive. And if I could just get, like, a regular first edition in copper, I would be a happy guy. Like, I really would. And a friend of mine has a first edition for sale, but the thing is, beat this shit, he's asking a lot of money for it. Like, he's asking a lot of money for that thing and the condition it's in. So, I don't know. Yeah, I saw that one. It's got, like, diamonds in the, uh, the eyes of the skull and shit. It's, well, they, they make a really quality mod, but, like, it's just, I don't know, it's really hard to describe. Like, they're, they're definitely quality mods. It's not like they hit any harder than any other hybrid mod out there, but they, they do make a quality mod, and they stand by their product. You know, you can have a mod that you bought five years ago, and, and something's fucked up on it, and they'll they'll tell you where you can get replacement parts or whatever or they'll give you replacement parts like they're they're great people I just I just want I just I don't know I like I said I mean I just like what they stand for so I just want to find something I don't care what it is I just want to find something there's there's a kid locally here in Connecticut and he's got a, a fucking scoundrel for sale and like it's it's cool
It's a it's a fucking scoundrel. It's a black one. I don't I can't remember what he asked. He I think he said he bought it for like two hundred bucks or something off a friend of his, and he was asking like three. And I was like, ah, dude. I was like, I'm good. But like, I I I, I really want to get my hands on one, and I, I just don't have you know a few hundred dollars to spend on a mod. So like, if there's anybody in that group that's got like something I don't care what if they've got something of a scoundrel sitting around that they're willing to just trade off for three mods like I'm down to make that trade you know like I, I, I can part way with three mods for one that like I'll be really excited to have you know and the connoisseur was nice but like I don't really look at it as a fucking scoundrel I really don't like it is but like it's I don't know, I really hated that whole, like, ball-style contact, dude. That fucking bothered the shit out of me. Is he still up there behind that tree? Oh, oh, oh. I'm out. I'm out. I, I can't remember. I, I feel like he told me he paid like a buck sixty or something and then he was trying to flip it for like three hundred or something ludicrous and I was like, nah dude, I was like, I'm good. But like it's just I don't know man, like Like don't tell me you fucking paid like you know, $160 for it, and then be like, oh yeah, but you know, I'm asking, and then be like, oh, but I'm, I'm trying to get 300 for it, like, fuck that, but like, I don't know how much it's worth, I don't know, you know, well, it's it's actually in pretty good shape, um, the, the fucking scoundrel's in good shape, but the, the friend that's got like the beat up ass first edition, he's, he's still asking way too much for it. Like, he's asking way more than that mod is worth. And like I thought I was being really fair when I offered him what I offered him, but apparently I wasn't. God damn you, bro. I knew there was somebody in that house, dude. I fucking knew it. Fucking dickheads, dude. Just camping up at the top of the mountain, bro. I love it. That dude is probably there for like an hour. 
Well, like the, like the first edition. So like I've seen them sell on the black market. I saw literally the same mod, first edition, just standard scoundrel, uh, copper. It was for sale for like, I think it was like two hundred dollars. Perfect condition, mirror finish, beautiful thing was in dope shape. Dude is asking two hundred. This kid I know, uh, his shit was like all scraped up, ding and dented, and he wanted two hundred. I was like, bro, I'll give you like a hundred dollars for it, and I'm still gonna have to wet sand it and polish it to make it look okay. And he's like, nah, dude, this thing's worth two hundred, ding and dent. I'm like, there's a guy online who's selling that, but in way better shape for two hundred. And he's like, then go buy it off him. I'm like, well, no, I'm, I'm not like, I'm just saying, dude, like, d like, don't, don't be like that. Like, I'll give you a hundred cash right now. And he's like, nah, 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 I'm, I'll take two though. I was like, nah, never mind. I was like, I'm good. I was like, I, I'd, I'd rather pay this dude online 200 for the one that's in awesome shape than fucking pay you 200 for a piece of shit one. I'd rather pay him 200 for a good one than pay you a hundred for a shitty one, honestly. But like, I just, I don't know, man. I, I really want one. Like, I, I want to find one. And if somebody's like, yo, I got a copper first for all three of your mods, I'd be like, deal, dude. I'd be like, you can take my fucking $200 high on, my $150 fucking Kennedy and my $100 rig. Like, deal. You know? I don't know, it, it just, it, it sucks, because, like, I've been wanting one for a long while now, and I, I just don't have the money to just straight up buy one. And I honestly, I kind of want to buy a used one. I want to buy one that's, like, seen some life. You know what I mean? I want to buy one that's, like, been around the, the, the fucking block, you know? I don't know why, I just do. Um, so, I don't know. I, I would love to find one, though. I'm... I'm really really hoping that I can I'm really hoping that somebody messages me off that and they're like yo bro look I got like and and then what bothers me dude is like there's guys on there that post like these hand checks where it's their whole arm from their fingertips up to their fucking like you know their bicep and they've got like 15 scoundrels all stacked up and, I, and I'll be like yo me you looking to sell any of those and they're like nah and it's like, oh, okay, so, like, what, do you use one every day of the week? And they'll be like, nah, most of them just sit on the shelf. I use the one all the way on my fingertips, though. I'm like, really, dude? I'm like, so, like, you straight up, like, you've got, like, there's people out there like me that, like, really want one of those fucking mods. And we're broke. We don't have money. And then, like, there's dudes like you who have, like, dozens of these things. And they don't even get used. And you don't want to get rid of any of them. And, like, it, I don't know, man. It, it's fucked up. Like, it's it, it's just fucked up for me because, like, I'm the type of person that, like, if I've got multiples of something or if I've got anything sitting around that I don't use and somebody's like, yo, can I buy that? Or, yo, will you trade for that? Like, yeah, dude. Hell yeah. I'm not just going to, like, let it sit and go unused. Like, I'm not going to do that. So, like, from, like, my mentality, I'm like, dude, you like, you're not even going to use it. And they're like, so? And, like, it breaks my heart. I'm like, damn, dude. I'm like, you know, like, 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 you know, like, like, you just, like, well, I can see, like, I can understand if you have, like, one of them that's in awesome shape and it just kind of, it's like a showpiece at home or whatever. Like, I can get that, but, like, having fucking, like, having 15 of them sitting around and one of them gets used and, like, somebody's like, yo, bro, can I buy one? And you're like, nah, I'd rather just let all of these dank ass mods just like sit on the shelf and like the other part of it is that like that means that they've got so much money to burn that they can buy one of those fucking mods and they don't even feel guilty about never using it you know what i mean like oh like dude that fucking breaks my heart bro like it really does like my fucking kennedy and shit like i know it's nothing special but like if if somebody's like yo bro i really would love to have that mod bro can i give you like 80 bucks for it like the whole setup i'd be like yeah dude deal i'm not using it. you take it so i don't know I, i'm just hoping i doubt it's gonna happen because like i know people are really fucking particular about like where their mods go and shit when it comes to those and like you know what they get for them. but i'm just hoping like one person's like yo bro i got this copper tube deal i'd be all over it like realistically though if somebody took um all three of the mods i have for trade they would 
and make out like a bandit. Like, I don't care. I'll trade all $400 worth of gear for a fucking $250 mod. I really don't care. Like, it's shit I don't use, so, like, I'm not going to freak out over it. So, somebody potentially can make out, like, a goddamn bandit off of one deal. You know what I mean? And it's all shit that'll sell. Like, that high end will sell fucking instantly. And I would rather, you know, I'm going to let that post sit. I'm going to bump it once or twice. And if it's not gone, if nobody's hit me up about it within, like, a couple few weeks, then I'll just try to sell off the mods that I have. And then I'll see if I can, you know, pick one up off somebody. But, ooh, dope. Um, but like that, the, the high on I have, I've had tons of people when I posted hand checks, I've had so many people be like, yo, you trying to sell that at the time I wasn't. So I'm like, nah, bro, this is like my daily carry. And they're like, ah, oh, man, if you ever want to get rid of it, let me know. And then like, I never remember any of those people. Cause like at the time in the mindset, I'm like, I'm never getting rid of this thing. I don't need to add these people on Facebook. And then, you know, a month later, I'm like, fuck, I should have had that dude on Facebook. You know what I mean? It, it, it sucks. It sucks that it happens. But, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna, like, put aside a couple bucks here every week and see what the dealio is. Damn, yo, is there enough 9 mil right here? Holy. But, yeah, if I if, if no one hits me up, I'll fucking try selling everything off one at a time. I know the rig will go, and I know that the, um, I know the rig and I know the high on will go. But the Kennedy, I, I think because it's such like a kind of like bottom of the barrel mod, I don't think that one's going to go. I think that one's just going to sit. <laughs> nah, don't donate anything, dude. It's all good. I'll get there. I'm, I'm going to start saving up and see what's out there. I've talked to a couple of their dealers, and the guys seem really fucking chill. It seems like they really want to, like, get people, you know, where they want to be. I was talking to, uh, what's-his-face, the dude down in Virginia. And I was like, yo, what do you got? He sent me a picture of some mod that he had. It was fucking dank. I can't remember which one it was, but it was badass as fuck. And I mean, it might have been a Moab. And, uh, and it was, like, a, you know, four or five hundred bucks, whatever the hell it was. And I'm like, listen, bro. I'm like, I want one bad. I'm like... You know, if, if I'm like, I hate doing deals with PayPal, though. Like, I hate putting that much money in my PayPal account because, like, I'm so nervous. Because people, like, you know, hackers watch fucking, they watch PayPal accounts. And, like, somebody could be watching your PayPal balance right now and you wouldn't know. And then as soon as you load up five or six hundred bucks, they snipe it. You know what I mean? So, like, I, I get nervous. I get really nervous because, like, I, you know, I, I work for every dollar I have. You know what I mean? So, like, if I was to ever save up, and I know it's a completely illogical, like, you know, um, uh, fear to have. Like, I, I know that it's completely crazy. Um, but, like, if I was to ever save up that kind of money, like, if I, let's say I had $500 to spend on a mod, saved up for a month or two, and I put aside 500 bucks for a mod, put that money in my PayPal account, and then that money got fucking sniped, I would be fucking triggered. Yeah, you get protected, but, like, you don't get your money back that day. It takes a couple months. Like, it's not like an instant, like, oh, yeah, we see it got stolen, here you go. Like, it, it, it like, I'd get it back, but it would still take a couple months. Like, I wouldn't, I'd still have to wait again. You know what I mean? I'd still have to wait after waiting, you know? Um, which is, it's fine. But, like, the way that I am, like, if I save up for something like that, and I finally get the money together, and I'm good to go, and then, like, bam, I gotta wait another couple months, I'll, I'll fucking lose it. Um, but, um, uh, what you call it? So, I, I, so anyway, so I told him, like, yo, listen, I'm like, I don't like to deal with PayPal. I'd rather deal cash. I'm like, if I can, I'm like, if I drive down to you, like, if I drive down to Virginia to buy this thing, can you hook me up with a, with a square deal? And I'm like, if I, I'm like, if, if I can, if I drive down there, can I fucking just give you cash and you hook me up on a deal? I'll be taking like a fucking, you know, I'll be taking like a five hour drive to come pick it up. And he, and he, t I can't remember what the price was he told me, but he knocked off like quite a couple bucks. And I was like, dude, that's sick. So I don't know. Like the, the whole, everybody that like is a distributor or a dealer, they all seem like a bunch of really fucking chill dudes. So I'm just going to put aside cash and we'll see what happens.
I really do want to start looking around more at what they have, like which ones are which, and like which one I like. I don't know. I really just want like a standard fucking like average. I don't. I mean, a hentai would be dope, but I'm not like fucking. I, I can't remember, like, let's say, let's say it was, let's say the original price was, like, 500 or something. Um, I, I feel like he knocked it down to, like, 4 or something. He, he knocked off a lot. Like, he knocked off a lot of money. He was like, damn, yo. He's like, you're legit willing to drive 5 hours to pick this thing up. And I was like, yeah. I was like, I legit would drive, like, fucking 12 hours if, if that's what it took. And he was like, damn, dude. He's like, you're fucking nuts. And whatever it was, it might not have been $100, but he knocked off, like, a really fucking good chunk. And I was like, all right. Was like, all right. I was like, I'm down, dude. I, I talked to the dude in Virginia. I think it was him. I don't know. I've talked to all the distributors, even if just for a couple minutes. I've, I've talked to all of them a little bit. A couple of them seemed, like, really pushy, and I didn't want to deal with them. And a lot of them just seemed like, yeah, you want it, you take it. If you don't, you don't. Like, I know he's got a ton of connoisseurs down there that, like, are not moving. Which sucks, because I got friends up here that are looking for him. And I'm like, yo, dude, dude in fucking Virginia has, like, a hundred of them. And they're like, no, nah, I want to get one up here, dude, because, like, if anything happens, I want to be able to go back to the fucking guy I bought it from. And it's like, dude. Oh my god. It's like, it doesn't matter. When you buy it, you're dealing with the league. I'm like, they'll hook you up. And they're like, no, I know, but I like to bring it back to the store. And it's like, dude, it doesn't... Like, if you need parts, just go on their group, dude, and somebody will tell you where to get parts. Like, it, I don't understand why you need to fucking make a big deal out of it. And they're like, yeah, I don't know. I would just feel a lot better if, like, it broke. I could just bring it back. Like, okay, dude. Hey, what up, D Raven? Well, that's what I said. I'm like, dude, like, if you buy anything from a shop, like, they're going to tell you to suck your own dick. Like, if you call them and you're like, hey, man, I bought this mod and it's fucked up, they're going to tell you to fucking hit the bricks. <laughs> you know? But if you buy something off one of the dealers and you're like, hey, man, you know, this insulator is fucked up or this contact is fucked up, they'll be like, oh, my God, bro, I got you, dog. I'm going to next day that shit. You know, it's fucking nuts. Like, I mean, the shops in my area, dude, they're fucking... Oh, yeah, buddy. The the shops in my area are fucking brutal, dude. Like, no joke, man. The, the, the shops around here in Connecticut are bad. Like, they really, they don't give a fuck. Like, they don't care who you are. They don't care what your situation is. They straight up don't care. Like, legit, they do not care. Like, as long as you have money for them, that's all they care about. Like, I've seen people... Hey, what up, dude? Like, I've seen people spend hundreds, hundreds of dollars in one purchase. Um, what the hell happened at the... I was at a shop, like, a, a couple months ago. And this kid bought, like... What did he buy? He bought, like, like three alien kits. It was for, like, him and whoever else, a couple of friends or whatever. So he bought three alien kits, okay? And he fucking, he's like, yeah, you know, can I plug them all in or hook them all up, make sure all of them are good? And they're like, yeah, 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 no problem. And, uh, and one of them had an issue. I, don't, I can't remember what it was. But one of them, he, like, he couldn't use it. And the guy at the shop was like, oh, you're going to have to contact Smock about that. We can't just replace it. I was like, what? I was like, dude, you have another one behind the shelf. Just swap it. And they're like, nah, you, you got to contact Smock. They just didn't want to have a busted one they couldn't sell. They didn't want to have to deal with the fucking, deal with the warranty shit. I was like, yo, you guys are fucking assholes, yo. I was like, y'all are a bunch of douchebags. Just give the kid another one, dude. Like, is it that fucking hard? Like, that's so fucked up, but no, they, they wouldn't do it. Like, he had to contact them. They had, he had to mail it back. I'm like, dude. It's probably so much easier for, for the shop. 
to deal with the fucking wholesaler and get it swapped out than it is for that kid. He's probably got to send it back, wait a month, finally get another one in return, and then, you know, like, and they could just be like, yo, you know, we're going to send this back, and, you know, we're going to get ten more anyway, so it doesn't matter for us. Then it wouldn't be a problem. But this poor kid now has to deal with it. It's it's fucked up, dude. It's so fucked up. I, I hate I hate the way that a lot of these shops work. Like I really do. I've I've legit I'm playing UFC right now, talking to Draven. Dope. I I legit fucking hate uh, the way a lot of these shops are run. Like I've told them too. Like I've gone to the shops and been like, yo. Your manager needs to suck a dick. One of the shops... Okay, so... Okay. So, like I was talking about earlier. Um, you know, like the $80 smock sticks. There's a local shop here. Um, they... They own a couple different branches. It's this. It's the same shop. Like, it's the same name. Um, but basically, people buy into the company. So... If they want to have a store with that same name, they just pay the owners of the actual brand um, royalty fees to use the name of the brand. Because if you, you know, you tag their name, up, people are going to go there. They're going to be, oh, these guys have a lot of shops. They must be good. Bam, they go to that one. Um, and so they just pay royalty to the actual owners. Well, each shop is run differently than another one. The, you know what I'm saying? And so, um, ooh, extended quick draw. Ooh, uh. Um, so, so, um, the shop I hang out at, they sell the little Breeze fucking bullshit little, like, mouth to lunger devices for $30. Same price you can get them online. 30 bucks. No problem. The sister shop to them, okay, it's basically, it's same company, just different owners. The other shop sells them for 60 so they doubled the price. So this guy walked to the shop and he was like, "Yeah, man, I tried buying one of these at your shop. They wanted sixty dollars, and I can get them online for thirty. And the dude's like, "We sell them for 30 And so he called the other shop, and uh, the guy's like, "Well, we get it from a different wholesaler. We're paying whatever it was a piece." And he's like, "So because you guys are ordering from a shit wholesaler, your customers are paying the difference." And he's like, "Well, yeah." He's like, "Why don't you just call us and see how much we're getting them for before you fuck people?" He's like, do you guys even look at the online prices and see what they're going for? And they're like, no, we just get it from the same wholesaler. If our wholesaler has stuff, we order it. It's like, dude. So, like, you can... So, it, it's like that Wild Bill shit. J-Rock. So, like, one Wild, Wild Bills could be owned by Jeff, and the other Wild Bills could be owned by John. And John could run his, like, shit, and Jeff could run his awesome. So the pricing is great at Jeff's place, but at John's place, the prices are doubled because he goes through a different wholesaler or whatever, whatever the case is. You know what I'm saying? It, it's fucked up. It's really fucked up. And so if, if John sells you a mod for $60 and then you go to Jeff's shop and he's got it there for $30, you can't return it. They won't let you return it. So you're stuck. It's, it's, it's horrible. Like, I'm telling you, man, the shops in Connecticut are worse than any place. Like, our shops out here are such garbage. It's crazy. And people don't believe me when I tell them how bad it is. I mean, I still, I still like to, to buy locally... Um, when it's an option, um, as long as the pricing is good. Um, there's a few, there's probably, there's what, one, two, three, four, five. Within like a, a 10 mile radius, there's probably like eight, eight or nine shops, 10 shops, give or take. And like four of them are the same branch. Two of them are the same branch. Yeah, there's a lot. There's like 10 shops within like 5 or 10 miles. Somewhere in there. Um, oh shit, I gotta go. I gotta like really go. Oh no. That's not good. 
Um, but like, you know, there's like there, there's one that's like okay. There's one that sells mechs at a reasonable price. Like only two shops sell mechs. One of them only sells like shit clones and limitless mechs. Um, the other shop sells like really nice high end mechs, but their prices are fucking astronomical. Um, like they sell they sell Kennedy roundhouses for like a hundred and a hundred and sixty, I think. And they're buying them directly from Kennedy for like eighty bucks, seventy bucks. So it's fucking nuts. But like, if you want if you want to know that what you're buying is legitimate or whatever they're going to order for you is legit, that's the place to go to. And you're better off going in there and being like, yo, I'm looking for a scoundrel for $300. And they got a kid there that will sit on his computer and do research for fucking 10 hours and find you a scoundrel for $300. It's, it's what they do, which is cool, but they're, they're going to wreck you on that scoundrel. They'll, they'll find one for $190 or they'll beat somebody down. On a, on a mod that's a hundred oh perfect on a mod that's a hundred and ninety dollars and then they'll charge you three hundred for it why are the lights on in that car oh it's out of gas Shit's coming so fast. Oh no. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it. No, 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 no. Jesus Christ. Oh. Um, I started vaping in February of this year. I just shot him in the fucking forehead. Are you kidding me? Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. Yeah, I started vaping in February, and it, like, took over my life. Like, no joke. I went from, like, just using it to quit smoking, and then, like, a month later, I had, like, a collection of mods and all this crazy shit, and, like, learned everything there was to know about it, like, quick. Like, I'm not even kidding, dude. Like, I, it fucking took over my life. It was, like, the first thing that I took up that I was like, yo, this is fucking, this is what I want. Oh, yeah, I smoked since I was, like, 12. So I smoked for, like, 13, 14 years. And I fucking, I tried fucking everything, bro. Um, I fucking tried everything, man. I didn't, I didn't really care to quit, like, at all. Um, I, from, like, 12 or 13 up until I was, like, 20, 21 or 22, I didn't, I just kept smoking, didn't give a fuck. And then, I don't know, I can't remember what happened. Maybe it was one of those commercials on TV with the treaks. But I was like, man, I should probably quit. And I tried the gums. Held me over for about a day, and then I'd freak out and break down. Tried the lozenges, the patches, the fire, everything. Everything, the inhalers, everything. Nothing worked. And then I just gave up on quitting. I literally gave up on quitting. Um, and then one day, hands and chat was like, yo, you should try vaping. And I was like, nah, vapors are douche. Bags. And he's like, dude, just try it. And I was like, maybe I will. I don't know. I was like, how much is it going to cost me? He's like, bro, go to a vape shop. You're going to spend $100 and you only set for like a month. And I was like, yeah, okay. Uh, maybe. So I went into the shop. I bought a fucking V8 stick with a fucking couple bottles of Jouez, pack of coils. And I have not touched a cigarette since. Like, immediately, dude. I quit in like 24 hours.
without even like stressing about it. And then like I spent like every dollar I had on vape gear every day after that. I started building and I went from doing like regular single wire like fucking I went from like single wire five ramp builds to doing like six, seven, eight, nine, ten core staggered fused clapdins in a matter of like two weeks. Like that fucking took over to fucking building completely took over, like yeah, it was fucking crazy. What's it there's there, what's not the love though? Like honestly when it when it comes to vaping, what's not the love? It bothers the living shit out of me. But I've got friends who are fucking smoking and shit. Ooh, let's go over here. Well, I got friends who are smoking, and they're like, yeah, I want to quit smoking, and I'm like, bro, pick up vaping. And they're like, nah, I'm good. And it's like, why? And they're like, uh, vaping, it just seems stupid. It doesn't seem like it works. And I'm like, dude, you get the exact same, like, you get the same satisfaction as you do from smoking. It tastes better, it smells better, and you still get to go through the process of inhaling and exhaling. I'm like, what's well, not the love? And they're like, oh, it's just not the same. And it's like, really, dude? It's like, really? Oh, I, I enjoy I enjoy the heat from the smoke and everything. Like, motherfucker, bro, the build I have in here right now will roast your lungs apart. What do you mean? <laughs> like, dude, it's... Uh... And it's just, those are the people I just don't want to quit. I don't have a problem with dead batteries, dude. I've always got batteries on the fucking fly, dude. I legit have, like, 50 batteries sitting in front of me. And only, like, two of them are shit batteries. The rest of them are all, like, HB6s and VTCs. Oh, my God, an 8X right off the rip. Am I about to get lucky as fuck here? Am I about to get hooked up on this game right now? Are you serious? No, it is an excuse. I had my coworker um, was talking about quitting and shit, and I was like, dude, I'll give you a mod. I was like, I'll give you one of my V8 sticks, and you can try it out. And he took one pull, and he coughed, which is expected, and he was like, nah, I'm good. I was like, dude, try it again. You'll be fine. Take a smaller rip. And he tried, like, he tried doing, like, a full-on, like, cloud chaser pull. And he coughed up a lung, and I'm like, dude, take it easy. Just take a regular, smooth, quick little inhale. And he's like, nah, I'm all set, dude. That shit was rough. And it's like, whatever, dude. Like, listen, man, you're fucking... You're a grown-ass man. Oh, my lord, D, look at this. I'm like, you're a grown man. You can make your own decisions. But, like, look, dude, you're you're getting older. You've been smoking. Oh, my, and there's an M16? What? Like, you're a grown man, dude. You can make your own decisions, but you gotta remember you're getting older, you've got kids, and I, I think it would really suck if by the time your kids were 18, you had fucking lung cancer, and were on your deathbed. That's all I'm saying. And he's like, whatever. It, it is what it is. And it's like, that's cool, dude. You wanna, you wanna live by that? It is what it is? That's cool. But just keep it in mind, man, when you're fucking 40 years old, and, you know, five years from now, when you've got a, a quarter-sized hole in your fucking throat, then then maybe you'll you'll wish you 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 quit smoking. Like it's it's just fucking nuts. I I don't understand the logic. Like I don't understand it. Like why people would not want to quit, I don't understand. Like, I mean, I do. Like, I before I realized what vaping was, I didn't really want to quit either. But now that I see it, like, I try to tell everybody, too. I'm like, dude, I'm like, listen, it's, you get to, like, enjoy the same process of smoking, dude. Like, you get all the good stuff and none of the bad. I'm like, I, I just don't understand why you wouldn't want to. I don't understand it. It is hard, but it's not, though. Once you pick up, like... The reason I didn't want to quit was because I didn't get to, I didn't, you know, the, the lozenges, the patches, 
none of that shit was giving me that same like I love the feeling of inhaling and exhaling vapor. You know, I love the the, the the feeling of inhaling smoke. I loved it. And and you know, you don't get that with the lozenges or the gums. Like I've got the, the, the hand fixation, I've got the fucking you know, the the this gaze of sounds, the oral fixation, I've got all that shit. And you, you know the the gums and the lozenges, none of that helped with any of it. So none of those helped me helped quit smoking. You know, none of them did anything for me. And that's what people don't realize is like, dude, it it does the same thing. Like you get all that stuff and none of the bad. Yeah, and, and for some reason people are like, nah, I'm gonna pass. It's like, dude. And you save money. As long as you're not, like, getting into it like we all do, where we fucking want to buy mods and shit and, like, upgrade and get this and that. As long as you, like, buy one mod and you're just using it to quit smoking, dude, you save a boatload of money. Like, you you save a boatload of fucking money. <laughs> it's like, like, what more do you want? Like, how much better does it get? Like, honestly, how much better does it get? Like, when I was just using my VA stick, dude, I was spending, like, I don't know, I think I was doing, ooh, dope. I think I was getting, like, a 60 mil a week. I'd go through, like, a, so a 30 mil bottle of juice, or 60 mil would last me a week. Um, you know, so I think I was probably spending, like, as much in a month on vape stuff as I was spending in a week on cigarettes. Well, yeah, we do, like, because we're all fucking, you know, nuts. But people that are just using vaping to quit, they're saving a ton of money. Like, I've got I got friends, like, their parents who just got into vaping just to quit smoking. And they spend fucking, you know, 40 or 50 bucks a week on it as opposed to 140 or 150. But, no, it, it, you know, as long as you don't want it to be become a hobby and you want it to just get you off cigarettes dude you're fucking good like it, it there's no there's no downsides to it the one thing the one thing that i hear though all the time is oh yeah well i'm not gonna have my face blown apart with a cigarette and it's like dude listen that's the problem you're guaranteed you're guaranteed to fucking melt your lungs and blow the arteries out of your heart smoking. You're guaranteed to have it happen. And as long as you're not a stupid fuck, your fucking shit is not going to blow your teeth out. As long as you're not a complete imbecile, you're not going to blow your shit apart. As long as you're paying fucking attention, you're fine. Like, all that shit on the news is literally just a collection of dumbasses. <laughs> like literally every time you see it on the news of somebody who had a fucking battery explode in their pocket it's like oh hey this guy's an idiot and that's all there is to it and like that shit drives you to the fucking wall man whenever I hear people say that shit oh yeah well you know a cigarette isn't gonna blow my face off yeah well neither is a vape unless you're fucking stupid like dude you know there's a kid who's suing LG right now because he had a battery. Oh, no, no, no. He's suing LG, and he's suing uh, the shop that he bought his batteries from because they didn't teach him about battery safety, and he had a battery explode in his pocket because he had a bunch of change in his pocket. Um, probably. It's either a car or a plane. I was trying to figure that one out myself. I heard that, too. I think it, was, it might have been the plane coming. This bike is, like, impossible to control. Hey, CMC, my boy. You getting a cold? Ah, oh, that's no good, dude. Well, feel better, homie. We'll catch you later, dude. Get some rest.
that's what I'm saying. It, it, it's just I don't know. It, it, I you know my uh, there was there was a girl I dated uh, a couple of few years ago, and she I, I've been talking to her a lot lately, and she's a really nice girl, super super nice girl, super cute, just like an awesome chick, and and she's been smoking for her whole life. She started smoking when she was like 12 years old or something like that. She's about my age. She's a little bit younger than me. But she's been smoking for like 10 years now. And and I told her the other day, because she saw my that video, I put up, oh no. This dude just got so much free shit. <laughs> oh my god, dude, really? He's just gonna take the bike? He's not even gonna look at all my dope gear? What an idiot, bro. Oh my god. I don't know, nah, I don't know. I'm, I'm working on it. I'm talking to her a little bit here and there, but... I don't know. She's she's a little bit of a mess. Super nice girl, but she's a little bit of a mess. Um, I fucking hit a rock, and my bike did a front flip, and I landed on my head and died. <laughs> but uh, she's she's a she's a nice girl. I I talk to her, you know, every other day or whatever. She's cool. I I try. I was like, listen. I was like, you would be, I told her straight up, I was like, you would be the perfect woman if you didn't smoke cigarettes. And she's like, what do you mean? I'm like, legit. I'm like, you would be the perfect woman. I'm like, you're not like, you're not annoying. You're not bitchy. I'm like, you're chill as shit. You're fucking crazy good looking. I'm like, the only negative about you is that you smoke. And she's like, yeah, well, she's like, it's my only vice, too. She's like, I don't drink, I don't do any of that shit. And I'm like, yeah, I'm like, listen, I'm like, I'll hook you up with a free vape setup. I'm like, I'll give you one of my old ones. I'll give you my rainbow V8 stick. As long as you guarantee I'll try it. And she's like, I don't know. She's like, I fucking love smoking so much. And I'm like, yeah, I know, dude. And I'm like, I know. Yeah, well, unfortunately, the helmet isn't made for that. Which is, which I agree is a little bit ridiculous. Oh, I know cringe, but that's what I'm saying. I'm like, a chick who smokes, but it's the same thing for guys. Guys who smoke are gross. And, you know, and, 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 and she's like, I don't know. She's like, I, I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'm like, listen, dude, I'll stop by. I'll give you babe. I'll show you how to use it, and then you're good. So I'm trying to get her to get it. Like, I don't even, like, I don't, I'm not doing it to, like, get into fucking, you know, I'm not doing it to try to date her. I'm not doing it to get into her pants. I'm just doing it because she's a generally a super nice girl. And, you know, I don't want to see people smoke. <laughs> it's what it is. Like, especially her. Like, she's too fucking cute to be. So, like, I know a lot of chicks who are hot or who are really good looking or whatever. And, like, it, whatever. But, like, this girl is straight up too fucking cute to be smoking. And I'm not kidding. Like, she's way too goddamn cute to be smoking. It fucking bothers me. Um, I'm going to... But, like, she's one of those chicks who, like, she's straight up. She's way too fucking cute to be smoking. It bothers me. Seeing that girl, seeing her face with a cigarette hanging out of it, I'm like, oh. Like, why, dude? Like, you might as well just, like, smash yourself in the face with a pan. Like, you, like, you are ruining your own image smoking. It kills me, dude. It fucking kills me. But, I don't know, we'll see. It'd be, it'd be fucking dope, though, if, like, you know, I start hanging out. I used to date her, dude. I dated her fucking... Jeez, how long ago was this? Back when me and my, like, ex, we took a break one summer, and I started dating her for no rant, like, for no reason at all, dude. We fucking started dating out of nowhere. God, that was, like, five years ago. And she was always cool as shit. Like, I would love to date that girl again. You kidding me? That would be the fucking coolest shit. 
Cause she doesn't even like, she she doesn't even care. I can be like, yo, I'm gonna sit here and play video games and you can like sit there and like, you know, do whatever the hell you want. She doesn't, she's like one of those chicks that just generally doesn't care. Like she'll sit there and like watch play games and not even like not bitch about, I'm telling you, she's like, she's like the perfect woman. She just smokes. And that's what ruins it. Um, all right, so I need to get uh, sights. I think I'm the only one over here, though, so that's cool. Especially, am I the only person in this entire city, dude? And watch there be nothing. Watch there be nothing in this entire city. I'm working out. I'm just not. I'm not pushing. Out. I'm not the type of guy to like. Be like, yo, let's go on a date. Let's go, let's go. Hey, 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 you know, I'm, I, I'm not pushy. So like, if we hang out and shit goes well, then dope. But I'm not gonna like try to push it. I don't know. I, I have a hard time like being like, you know, all fucking like crazy up front about that shit. So. Oh shit, shit, shit! I don't want that. I don't want that. Well, luckily it's not even like. Luckily, we're we're like still beyond like that point. Like, luckily I'm not like friend zoned at all, which is fucking nice. But like, we're not exactly like you know trying to make something happen quite yet either. But she literally like just like literally this week fucking kicked her boyfriend out of the house. So that's also another reason I'm like really not trying to like. Dope. Uh, I'm not trying to like start no shit with her already, cause like I don't want to be that guy, dude. I don't want to be that guy that sees a chick who's like just recently single, and I want to be the guy that like shows up and is like, you know, y you know, fixes everything. I don't want to be that guy, dude. Like that guy gets fucking stomped on in the end. So like I'm good on that. Ooh, 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 ooh. A fucking suppressor, dude. I'm all over that. And a pan. Oh man, we're in shape, dude. We're in good shape now. That fucking suppressor just did it. That's what I'm saying, Cridge. It's never good, dude. And an extended mag. Oh, buddy. Nah, being being the rebound never is. It, 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 it always puts you in that position where they're like, oh, well, you know. It, it's just not good. It, it, it's not good. I, I don't want to be the rebound, and I don't think she wants me to be the rebound either, because of like where we've been in the past, which is fine. That that's cool. I'm not. I'm not that guy to be like, no, I'll be your rebound. Who cares? Like, I'm not that dude. Like, I'm I'm not fucking desperate. <laughs> you know what I mean? So like, it's totally whatever happens happens. I'm not fucking. I ain't going nuts over it. Damn, yo, there's a lot of fucking grips, though, dog. I cannot believe I haven't found a rifle yet. I'm shocked that I haven't found a rifle. Uh, compensator. Oh, am I in the circle? I'm in the circle. No, I'm not. I'm completely opposite of the circle. Okay, I've got to go. I have to go, like, right now. I need to find a car, and I need to get the fuck out of here. Oh, no, dude. Oh, no. This game might be over before it even starts. Uh, but this legit, this is my last game, guys, for the night. I, I really do got to wake up early and start building tomorrow. I've got to build at least five sets of coils tomorrow morning. At least. Okay, shit. 30, oh, fuck. Dude, we gotta find a car. Like, we need to find a car bad. Oh, no. Oh, no. This shit is not fucking good. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna live stream my building out of the ADV Facebook group, though. 
I was gonna do it on my other. I'm gonna make. I was gonna make a new YouTube account and do it on there, but my camera's not good enough to do it on there, and I, I, I'd be better off doing it on my phone. Oh, I, I know what you're talking about, Courage. I, I know exactly where you're coming from. It's, it's not even. It's. We've had the conversation. And, like, we, we've talked about, like, you know, how things were in the past, and, like, you know, the whole, like, oh, yeah, I thought about you a lot, too, and all that shit, and blah, blah, blah. She, we, we both talked about it. Neither of us are, like, looking to, like, settle down or nothing, but, you know, she's, like, she's not exactly looking, and neither am I, but, like, you know, we both talked about that it would be cool. It's, we're, we're on the same page with shit. I, I legit watched her fucking smash some dude, some dude down the other day. It was fucking funny as fuck. She posted something on Facebook about, like, she was like, oh, yeah, back to being single. This should be interesting. And some dude was like, oh, wow, I'm so sorry to hear that. If you ever need to talk or anything, let me know. And she was just like, listen, nigga, I'm not fucking st She didn't say that. She had that tone. She's like, I'm not fucking stupid. She's like, get the hell out of here. And the dude's like, whoa, whoa, I'm just offering some help. And she's like, nah, fuck you. I'm not stupid. And the dude's like, damn, you're fucking crazy. And she's like, nah, I'm just not stupid. And it was funny as fuck. The dude, like, straight up still trying to play it off like he didn't mean it in any way other than being nice. It was like, dude, come on. Um, it depends on what I'm making, man. If I'm making, like, regular few Laptons, I can bang out a set in like two minutes. Um, but it, it depends on the build. If I'm doing like a set of pitchforks, that'll take me all fucking day. Well, that's the thing that's funny, Chris, is I've been not looking for like three years and nothing's happened. That it's, I don't know, it's, uh, it's, it's weird. I always end up, like, if something ever happens to me, it happens like that. Like, I don't even know that it's going on. The next thing I know, I'm, like, getting laid and, like, shit's progressing. It's, it's weird. I don't, I don't know. But, like, it's never, it's never, like, my problem is that it's never, like, a chick that I could actually, like, chill with. It's somebody I could, like, hang out with throughout the day. But, like, it's not, I, I, I yeah, in the past, like, I don't know, since I, since I've been single the last, like, three years now. I've yet to find a chick that I can, like, actually chill with. And, like, she's actually cool and I can, like, hang out with her all day. I, I've yet to find a chick that's, like, real chill in the last few years. They've all been, like, just kind of, like, pains in my asses. Not that I have multiple asses, but you know what I mean. I'm, I'm, dude, I'm totally, I'm not, like, I'm not trying to, like, get involved in nothing. You know, some, like, cool-ass chick falls out of the sky and, you know, lands on my lap and, like, don't. But, like, I'm not gonna fucking, you know, go up and out of my way. Get all excited over shit. It's not really my thing. I don't, I don't, I don't, you know. Dude, you know what, Cringe? My biggest fear in life is fucking accidentally knocking some chick up and then being stuck with her. Like, no joke, that is, like, my biggest fear in life. Like, uh, I, I dated a girl last year, and she was, like, you know, didn't... Had no, had no fucking, you know, had no worries about getting knocked up or nothing. I was like, oh, yeah, you know... Let me, let me run to the store before I come over. I gotta grab some condoms. And she's like, no, 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 fuck that, fuck that. And I'm like, no. Like, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna stop and get some. I'm like, I'm, 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 I'm gonna stop and get some. And she's like, no, fuck that, we're good, we're good. And I'm like, no, dude, we're not good. And she's like, yeah, it's all good, it's all good, don't worry about it. Listen, dude. 
where was that? Oh, it's in the house. He's right there. that right now. Wasn't there an 8x, or am I making that up? Yeah, I was making that up. Okay, whatever. Alright, dude. Yeah, I'll be on tomorrow, man. I'll catch you later, bro. It was legit talking to you, dude. Later, homeboy. Uh, but no courage. That girl, uh, she, so she, okay, so anyway, so, like I was saying, so what happened to that girl, so, uh, her and I, uh, you know, I, I had to like struggle to get her to like let me invest in condoms and shit. That was fine. Um, and she ended up being like a real lunatic. Like she was insane. I mean, I mean, this girl was fucking crazy. She was batshit crazy. Okay. Um, yeah, we we chilled for a long time. We, we, well, not a long time. We, we chilled for a good couple months. Um, and what ended up happening with her was she had something happen with like her ex boyfriend or whatever. And dude, like, wanted to start hanging out again. Whatever. I, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't too like keen on on dating her anyway. We weren't really dating. We were just hooking up. But so um, we're hanging out one night, and her her boyfriend call or her ex boyfriend calls her. Okay, and he's like. And whatever the, however the phone call was, was she's like screaming on the phone. She's like, I'm not dating anybody. You're fucking crazy. I'm not hanging out with anybody. No, you're crazy. I'm not cheating on you, I swear. And blah, blah, blah. Okay. And so I'm sitting there like, oh no. I'm like, this is one of those deals. And, and so, um, and so I'm like, yo, I'm like, do you have to leave? And she's like, no, I'm good. And I'm like, did... I'm like, did... Like, her boyfriend said something. She was like, she was like, no, you better not. 
why do you, like it doesn't matter where I am or whatever and, sh and something 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 and I'm like I'm like is your boyfriend like gonna come looking for you and she's like no and I'm like so I have nothing to be worried about right now and she's like no you're good and I'm like okay and and the dude ended up calling back and asked like what she was doing and he like I heard him say the town I'm in and 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 he's like what are you doing and I'm not gonna say where I'm from but he's like what are you doing and such and such and she's like I'm not there He's like, yes, you are, and and he's like, I, I know where you are. What the fuck? And she's like screaming at him and all this shit. And she hangs up, and I'm like, dude, it sounds like you should leave. And she's like, no, I'm all good. She's like, we're cool. He's not gonna do anything. And I'm like, you know what? I was like, it doesn't matter. I was like, y I, I think you should go. And she's like, what do you mean? I'm like, I'm like, I'm asking you. I'm telling you to get out of my house. I'm like, I don't know what is going on with your boyfriend. But, like, I'm going to pass on hanging out with you tonight. And she got fucking super pissed and left that I didn't hear from her again. And I, I do believe you are correct, though. I, I believe she did get knocked up very shortly after. Not, like, shortly after enough for me to be worried. But, like, a couple months later, she was pregnant. So, yeah, she, she was a fucking nut job, dude. She was a fucking crazy bitch, that one. This cornbread, though. Alright, I should probably consider getting out of here. I'm thinking. Now, this dude didn't have a bike, he didn't have a car, he didn't have nothing. Did I? Did I have a car? I feel. Oh, I have a car. I have a car over here. I have a jeep. Sick. Yeah, exactly. No, I, you know, dude, like I said, man, I'm not like, you know, I, I love gambling, dude. That's like one of my favorite things in the world. Like, legit, it's, nothing makes me happier. But I'm not desperate enough to get laid to like, to deal with that kind of shit. Um, like, I'm not really desperate. I've never been desperate, like, at all. Like, I don't, like, as much as I enjoy it, I don't, I don't, I don't, like, care enough to, like, deal with nonsense to get laid. Like, I really don't. Yeah, uh, I, I don't know what happened to it. I believe the guy in the house shot it off because he's a fucking ass clown. Oh, oh, hello. <laughs> I'm done for the night, dude. I'm getting pissed off by these fucking people. Camping like little bitches. Fucking don't even like... Uh, he wasn't even camping. I just don't fucking... I don't know. That, that shit frustrates me, man. Suppressing his people. He was camping, though. He was camping the edge of the gas. I hate that shit. Like, I really hate when people camp the edge of the gas. That's such a pussy way to play. And people are like, oh, that's a strategy. It's like, no, dude. It's a bitch move. You fucking wait for people trying to, like, get into the playable section. And you camp them out. 
that's why he was sitting behind that tree. He was camping the edge of the gas. And, like, you can call it a strat, but it's a bitch way to play. That's all there is to it. No, it was the guy up on the hill behind me, the dude that shot at me on my way in. I saw him behind the tree, and that's why I stopped and I started looking up that way. He, he was up there, and he moved to one of the trees behind me. And I thought it was one of the dudes in the tower, and then I saw the way the bullet hit the ground next to me. He was fucking behind me. Fucking ridiculous. But anyway, guys, yes, sir, will do, Mr. J-Rock. Fucking guys, have an awesome night, dude. Tomorrow, we got big streams coming up. Uh, apparently, yeah, apparently being a pussy is a strategy. Yeah. That's what Luna says. He's like, dude, fucking camp the gas is a good strat. I'm like, no, dude, that's playing like a bitch. And he's like, yeah, well, that's how you win. And I'm like, you know, dude, I'd rather lose every single game for the rest of my life than play like that. Fuck that shit. But... Good night, guys.